In today's video, we're going to be making the most delicious, mouth-watering, tasty, southern fried cabbage. Woo! It's so good! Hey guys, Jackie Cooks here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm going to be showing you how to make the best southern fried cabbage you ever had in your life. You will not be able to put your fork down. It is so incredible and the taste is phenomenal guys yes Jackie it is cooks. if this is your first time here welcome we're going to start off by chopping up our cabbage the most important thing to remember is remove the core because you cannot eat that and it will make your fried cabbage taste very bitter not good at all we're just going to take our time and cut up our cabbage. It's a rough job, but somebody's got to do it. Now, when you cut your cabbage, you can cut it as thin or as thick as you like. Or if you want to shred it, you can also shred your cabbage. After you get your cabbage all chopped up just the way you like it, we're going to rinse it well in cold water. We're going to be using bell pepper. We're going to use a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper, about half of each. We did chop that up. You chop your bell pepper any size you want. We're going to be using one small onion for added flavor. And we're just going to chop that up into very small pieces. I've already preheated my cast iron skillet over medium high heat. And I'm just going to add my chopped bacon. I really don't eat pork. I cannot remember the last time I had a pork chop. But I do remember about seven months ago, June 24th, I had a grilled cheese sandwich with bacon. Ooh, it was so good. We're just going to cook our bacon until it's almost done, but not all the way. Look at all that bacon grease that we're going to use to season our fried cabbage. At this time, we're going to go ahead and add in our chopped onion, our chopped red bell pepper, and also our chopped green bell pepper. Yes our vegetables and we're just going to cook those until they are translucent i did add in some minced garlic at this time we're going to be adding in about half of our chopped cabbage all the cabbage is not going to fit but it is going to shrink down then we can add the rest we're going to mix well with our bell peppers and our onions and we're just going to let that cook down you know, cabbage is like collard greens. It looks like so much, but then it cooks down and it's so perfect. You are going to love this recipe. At this time, we're adding in one fourth cup of better than bouillon chicken broth for a little bit added flavor. And now for our seasonings, I'm going to be adding a generous amount of seasoned salt, a generous amount of freshly ground black pepper, and Cajun seasoning. You really don't need that much seasonings because the bacon adds so much flavor. We're just gonna add our cast iron top and just let that simmer for a bit. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. It encourages me to make more videos. After our Southern fried cabbage is to our desired tenderness, we're going to add that bacon that we fried earlier. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look marvelous, guys? We're just going to mix that very, very well. Ooh-wee. You talking about some good stuff. Uh-huh. Southern fried cabbage. There is nothing better. And you see that cornbread in the background. I'm ready. Yes, I am ready right now. Let me get this piece of bacon right here. After it's ready, we're going to pour that into our beautiful red serving dish. I like my southern fried cabbage kind of crunchy. You know I'm a crunchy freak. I got to hear my food. <laughs> Please, share this video with your family. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video.